This tool generates presentations in seconds, just like this one right here. All you need to simply do is enter a text prompt such as how AI is helping entrepreneurs become more productive, hit generate, and out comes a beautiful and dynamic presentation complete with unique images and content that you can literally present right away. So gone are the days of creating presentations the old fashioned way. Let me show you exactly what tool can do this for you and how to get started with it. All right, so the tool is called Gamma. It's a modern alternative to PowerPoint and it uses powerful AI and technology to make presentations faster and easier for you. In addition to being able to create presentations for you, you can also create documents too, like this comprehensive guide on calisthenics, just like the following. And on top of that, you can create web pages too, like this top social media tips ebook landing page, complete with the different elements on the website. And rest assured, Gamma is really easy and intuitive to use. You don't need any design skills or coding required. I'm not a designer myself, so I sure wouldn't want to spend hours tinkering around with creating presentations and designs just like those that I've just shared. So with that said, let's get on to the tutorial and I'll show you how to create your very first presentation document or web page. Okay, first things first, head to the link in the description box below where you'll land on the Gamma landing page and then click on sign up to sign up for free. It's free to sign up at the time of this recording and you get 400 AI credits at sign up and you'll be able to use this to generate things like images and content. You'll see later on as I progress with this tutorial. But otherwise, if you're looking to seriously create presentations, documents and websites with Gamma, feel free to take a look at some of the paid plans too. Once you've signed up, you'll be presented with this screen where you can choose what kind of design you'd like to create. You can start by pasting any kind of text such as notes and outline that you may have or existing content that you can simply copy and paste. Now, the most popular way to generate a design using Gamma is to use the AI generate option. You can, however, import a file or URL, let's say a, an existing document or a web page or a blog post, feel free to use this by simply pasting those in. But for the duration of this tutorial, we're gonna use the most popular way, which is to generate. And this is by far the fastest and easiest way to create our presentations. And this tutorial, I will show you how to create a presentation. So we'll go ahead, click on generate. From the options here, it will ask you what you'd like to create, presentation, website, or document. I'm gonna stick with presentation here. Now choose the amount of cards, or in other words, the amount of slides you'd like Gamma to produce and generate. Choose your language, it's multilingual, so you can choose the language that you most prefer, depending, of course, what you're aiming for, what your goal is, and who your target audience is. Now, next thing is the text prompt area. Describe what you'd like to make. I'd like to make a presentation on how AI is helping entrepreneurs become more productive. And what we'll do then is click on generate outline. Click that once. And in just a couple of seconds, Gamma will come up with a rough kind of outline. You can go with this or you can regenerate if you'd like. Otherwise you can add more cards right here. Also being able to edit anything any of the cards here. So instead of introduction to AI and productivity, you can put something else in the workplace, uh, whatever it may be, you can specify it here because what will come next is the content generation. So filling out these cards with actual content. Scrolling down, you've got some settings such as the amount of text per card. Do you wanna make it brief, medium, or very detailed? specified here. I'll just choose a medium. For image source, you're given a few options such as automatically select the best image type for each image, or you can choose some from the web and choosing the licenses, free to use, free for commercial. Otherwise choose AI images, and then you can specify the image styles such as the colors and the mood. And by selecting AI images, it will come up with something unique and you'll be able to choose an image model. So the back end, I will just leave it 
as whatever the default is, it will always select the best, but you will be given some of these other options here too. You're given some advanced options too, by clicking this, you'll be shown this different layer with the text options to target a specific audience, such as for business or college students and the tone that you want to instill in the content. All this can be specified by going to advance. There's a way to switch between free form where you can type away and then separate each of the cards and topics by a dash, 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 like so. And then you create the next card that way if you wanna have that free flow option. Otherwise, stick to the card by card for a more visual presentation. All right, once done, click on continue and it will then use up some of the credits, but you'll be given plenty of credits to play around with the Gamma uh, free edition. The next step is to choose and pick a theme. There's quite a number of themes to choose from, really professional, really pleasing on the eyes, no matter what you're creating. So this is what this theme looks like, the icebreaker theme. And if we go to blue still, you'll see the difference with the theme and the preview of it. Let's go to this one here. And this one, scroll down, there's quite a number of themes to choose from, but we'll go up and I will stick with this one right here. All right, so once that's done, once you've selected your theme, click on generate. And then what it will do is put together your entire presentation in seconds. As you can see, in real time, you'll be able to take a look at what it's putting together for you based on the content and the cards that you specified. And just like that, it is done, complete with generative AI images right here. That's totally related to the topic at hand. We've got this robot AI, you know, going through the phone and this right here and some other graphs, but take note, of the layouts that it's put together. It's all unique, really different. We've got this these columns, uh, whereas this one, we've got kind of like a timeline looking one, uh, rather than having just boring bullets. Scrolling down, we've got other sections here with the table and more images. So it's pretty cool with what it's done. At this stage, I'll show you how this whole editor works and what you can do to fully customize your presentation. All right, first of all, running through the center, you've got, of course, the slides, which you can edit right away by clicking the headings and the text and going into the images. I'll show you more on how to regenerate images and things like that later on. On the left, you can see the film strip where you can scroll through your presentation easily rather than going up and down, especially if you've got plenty and dozens of cards. On the right, you've got widgets that you can insert to your slides. At the top, you can change the theme with a click of a mouse button by going back here and then clicking any of the themes and then that'll take effect in an instant. But let's go back. Those are the main components and areas of the editor. Let's go ahead and edit some of the slides so I can show you an example of what you can do to customize your presentation. All right, going into this slide here, this is the second slide, for example, we can click on edit with AI and what you'll be given are some options. We can improve the writing, we can fix the spelling if we've entered our own content, for instance. You can make it longer, shorter, simplify the language. You can even change the layout of the slide. So let's try a different layout by clicking this and you'll see right here, it's redesigning it. And there we go. Now we've got a unique look as opposed to something that may look similar. Furthermore, with the actual content, what you can do is let's say highlight this sentence here, go and click on edit with AI and we can say, make it more engaging. And right here, we are asking the AI to make it more engaging. And here are some suggestions on what we can do. This is original. And let's say we like this one instead, click that once and now it has updated. With the image that it's generated, you can go into the image by double clicking. And then what we can do is reprompt it. So we can write our own prompt if we're not happy with that. 
and then generate it again. Choose an aspect ratio, click on generate. You'll see that it will cost 10 credits and I've got 100 credits left on my free account. Otherwise we can select some of the other generated images. All right, so that is an option for you to regenerate images if you do not want to keep the one that uh, was generated originally. Let's now play around with the widget section. The first is card templates. If you want to add a new card, for instance, based on the template, we can choose something like the two column one, drag wherever you want, let's say underneath here, and there it is. We've got the two column template, and you can go ahead and insert the content that you want. Otherwise, you can always click on add blank card and choose from one of the templates here. You've also got smart layouts where you're given things like being able to add different kind of elements such as a pyramid, circle stats, bar stats. We've got down the bottom, we've got timelines. So these all make your presentation pretty unique as opposed to just having plain text on your presentation that may not be engaging. Basic blocks are right here where you can add things like bulleted lists, a info box. We've got interactive elements and other things like if you wanna add code and footnotes and table of contents. Image options are all right here where you can upload all your images. Same with video and media. And the cool part about Gamma is you can integrate other apps and websites right here that's supported. A full list of charts and diagrams that you can add right here. And then you've got forms and buttons making it interactive. So if you want to add things such as a Google form, simply click that and attach your form. While customizing your cards, you can always go into your content, let's say right here, and you want to quickly add, for instance, a heading. You can do a quick forward slash. This will bring up a list of commands. And then we can add a title or a heading one, some small text, normal text. Going down, we've got other options and elements that we can add right within the commands list as opposed to going to the widgets and finding what you want. So we can right away add an AI image by clicking on AI images right there, specify what we want, generate, and then right there, it'll generate in an instant. Bear in mind that anything you create in Gamma is 100% mobile friendly. So it's responsive on mobile and tablets. So as said, there's no design skills required, no coding required. All you need to do is just customize your presentation document or web page. Once you're ready to present your presentation, you're given a few options. You can present right away on the desktop. So click on present and then this will open up your presentation in full screen based on your browser. And then you can go ahead, and use the down arrows on your keyboard or use your mouse to just go through each of the slides. If you, on the other hand, would like to export your presentation as a PowerPoint file or a PDF file, click on share and then you'll see export. You'll see export to PDF, PowerPoint and or as PNGs like images. There's also an option to share it as a link by going to share and here's your unique link. What's also great is you can check the analytics of a specific presentation, web page or document by clicking on view analytics at the bottom while you're in the share mode. So click on view analytics and here we go. On this page, you've got page views or card engagements too. And you can see how many people have gone through each of the cards. On the paid plans, you can completely change the whole content of your presentation in an instant by clicking on edit all cards with AI. And what it'll do is edit your entire gamma in one click, translate it, enhance it, simplify it and more, all with just one click. So whatever you're planning to create in the future, whether it's a meeting presentation, a startup pitch, a report, how to's and guides, even online course modules and YouTube presentations too. Why not use Gamma to quickly and easily generate those and most importantly, do it in a way that's intuitive so that you can save time, become more productive and focus more on what's important to you. Link will be in the description box below. Give it a try and let me know in the comments what you'll be creating using Gamma. I'd love to know. In the meantime, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.